dear students welcome back to the podcast session once again in this session i will discuss the history chapter devotional paths to the divine so let's first try to understand what does the word devotion mean well in very simple word it means bhakti singing bhajans kirtans chanting mantras or following some specific ideas all these form a part of bhakti by the end of this chapter i hope you will understand the different forms of bhakti and the bhakti movements that emerged during medieval period if you remember dear students what you learned in the previous chapters that how the kingdoms emerged gradually empires also came up different towns trades all these things emerged along with these the idea of supreme god also emerged if you remember when we had discussed the previous chapters we discussed that when people met when villages developed into towns exchange of ideas also took place now during this time people started having faith in the cycles of birth and rebirth they started believing in in, in inequality based upon caste system now having devotion to supreme power also gained importance where shiva vishnu and durga came to be worshiped as supreme god around this period many people they were uneasy with these religious practices so very easily they got attracted towards a new kind of bhakti movement that emerged in different parts of indian subcontinent during that period So first I will start with bhakti in South India from 7th to 19th century a new religious movement emerged now this religious movement had a group of two different sects the nayanars and the alvars the nayanars were the followers of shiva those saints who advocated the devotion towards shiva and alvars the saints who believed in devotion towards vishnu now both these sects believed in devotion to a particular supreme god but what was important in this new form of bhakti movement was that here the members those people who joined this movement they were from all the caste it was not restricted to any one particular caste similarly another movement that came up in kerala under saint shankara he became important with his ideas where he advocated renunciation of the world he was against idol worship what shankara preached was to leave all the materialistic things and adopt the path to knowledge so he believed that if person adopts a path towards knowledge towards getting knowledge then that person can easily get salvation similar to saint 
Shankara of Kerala. There were other saints also from South India, like Ramanuja from Tamil Nadu, Basavana from Karnataka. Saint Ramanuja, around 11th century, he advocated complete devotion to Vishnu, that is, having faith in Supreme God, but treating others equally. Basavana, another saint from Karnataka, became popular during 12th century. He advocated the following things. That is, number one, equality of all. Number two, he was against caste system and ill treatment of women. And number three, he was against idol worship and rituals. So, dear children, in this podcast episode, you have seen how new bhakti movement or religious movement emerged in South India from 7th century till 12th century, that is early medieval period, and how these saints of South India advocated their ideologies, but what was common amongst them all was that they all believed in equality of all human beings. So, dear children, please listen to this podcast episode and in case you have any doubt, you are most welcome to ask in the doubt clearing class.